Fiction ASMR video. I've seen a lot of these role plays and I've always wanted to do one. Um, so, welcome to my first role play. I'm really excited. Um, but yeah, also let me know if you guys have anything that you particularly want to see. I was not expecting to like actually put in effort <laughs> for these videos and like have people that want to watch them. So if you have an idea of something that you want me to make or you just have ASMR that you like in particular, I would be so happy to make something that you request. Um, so yeah, leave a comment down below with things that you want to see and I will take any good ideas and we'll see what happens. so much of 
for, for sharing all of that with me. I know that sometimes it can be really hard to be vulnerable with close friends, much less someone that you just met, a therapist that you just met. I know that a lot of people have a hard time opening up to therapists, be, uh, therapists because it kind of feels like a doctor's appointment. Like, you know, it can be uncomfortable. Um, but I'm so grateful that you that you shared that with me. Thank you. I'm really proud of you for, for being open and, and vulnerable um, about what you're dealing with. That's the first step in, in changing anything, um, is acknowledging that you need help and that you have an issue that you want to see change in your life. Um, so that's really good. That's a good place for us to start is being open and, and vulnerable and honest with one another. So I'm really proud of you. Um, so all that information is so good for me to know. Um, let's go back a little bit to when you first noticed this happening. Um, do you remember like the circumstances surrounding the first time that you experienced this? Um, or like the first event that made you feel this way, the first environment that you were in that made you feel this way. Do you remember that at all? Your dad. Yeah. I understand.
some of this stuff is really hard to talk about. I completely understand. And again, I'm so grateful that you shared it with me. Um, your first therapy session, that vulnerability is going to be a huge asset in your healing journey. Um, and in the amount of work that we're going to be able to do in a short time. Um, okay, so for this exercise, I want you to close your eyes. So just close your eyes. I want you to imagine yourself in the last situation where you experienced these panicky symptoms. I think you said it was at a party. Was that a party? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So imagine yourself at that party and try and visualize what was going on around you. Visualize how you were feeling in your body. Maybe were you sweating? Were you racing thoughts? Like I want you to visualize that in your mind and see yourself. Okay. So do you have a, a good picture of that? I know I'm, I'm not trying to stress you out. We're gonna kind of restructure this moment, reframe this moment for ourselves, okay? So, can you, are you visualizing that in your head? Okay, great. So, what I want you to do now is I want you to see, to zoom out of that picture. So, instead of seeing the party through your own eyes, you're going to be zooming out and looking at yourself. You are a neutral party. You are far away. You are just kind of from a distance looking at yourself in that environment, okay? Now that we've zoomed out, what I want you to do is I want you to look at that, at yourself as a whole person in that environment, and I want you to visualize yourself as a younger version of you, as a child, whatever age jumps out in your head. Um, that's the age that I want you to visualize yourself as, okay? So I want you to visualize yourself as a younger you, okay? So now that we've done that, let's, let's recap. So you are visualizing yourself as a child at this party. Maybe the younger version of you is scared. Maybe they're anxious. Maybe they're fearful. Maybe they feel alone, like they have no one to talk to. So, I want you to think about what can you do as the older version of you looking at the younger version of you? What can you do to take care of yourself in that moment? What can you do to take care of that little child? Because the, the inner child in you in those moments, I know you said you've been to therapy before, so I'm sure that Anyway, in your mind. 
way to think of it. So, just in case, if before we meet again, you get in a situation that makes you feel that way, I want you to just try this exercise in the midst of that situation. Just close your eyes and see your younger self and ask it what it needs. Ask them what they need. Do they need comfort? Do they need to just go talk to someone new? Do they need some food? Do they need to hide out for a minute until they feel peace? I want you to just check in with that little child version of you. It might sound strange, but I promise as someone who has experienced the same symptoms you're describing, it really helps. Okay. I'm going to write that down so that we remember that. actually did.